Well, welcome to my show! Well, today, today, we got ourselves the Mario and friends! Well, it looks like they're drunk again! Well, but Mar Mario, being a narcissist, wants to call everything Mario Land! But th th did he forget what marathon it is? Yeah, it's, it's the marathon of Wario, obviously! Ah! Oh, okay! Well, it looks like Wario's here to ruin everyone's day! But that's okay! Cause Mario's gonna- uh, uh, Mar Mar Mario gives no fucks! Luigi's getting in on it? It looks like we're gonna have a whole Super Smash Brawl right here! Oh, the headbutt! So chaos ensues in the Mushroom Kingdom! And we are not sure what's gonna happen! Not enough Toad is being spoke at the moment! But Peach! In a desperate attempt to fix everything! Makes a piece of offer! Offering to send nudes! Wait, no, she offered to make a whole new idea! And that whole new idea is Peachland! Nothing but ass! Pog 24 7! Everyone is collapsed from horniness! It looks like everyone's squabbling, but we will not know who the real winner is! But meanwhile, overhearing this craziness, it looks like... Oh no! Oh god, could it be? Oh, it's Diddy Kong! But not just any Diddy Kong! Diddy Kong and Sonic fused together! Oh god, we don't, we don't talk about Nintendo Land! That, that's the dark part of Nintendo history! Almost as dark of Bowser is destroying the land right now! Oh, oh this Koopa! Determined to not see the world turned fucking cursed, rushes to the scene, eager to tell our Mario brothers and friends, "Hey guys, you, you might want to start the marathon." But no one gives a fuck. But look, uh, will, will we lose to Sonic Mario? The will we lose? Well, not Sonic did, did he? Hey, you fucks! You want to lose to this? Is this what you want? Hey, I don't, I don't want this. Hey, I don't want this, I do. Uh. I'm gonna send nudes! Reaper, reaper! <laughs> Monkey noises. I don't know what's going on with the lights. This is not. Oh, God. Look, look away, everyone. I don't know what's happening. Okay, anyways. So it looks like we're good. And the, we, the, we can start the festival. We can start the festivities. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's finally time to start the third annual Summer of DK and Banjo. Ladies and gentlemen, I was told, and I hope you're excited. Oh yeah! The fucking Mario, Konga, Diddy Kong, fucking Yoshi shit, fucking the disc drive games, Ma Smash Bros, fucking IRL shit, crowd control, speed runs, making hacks, randomizers, ROM hacks, classic games, DJing, so much fucking more. <laughs> I know it's the third. Special guests. single Kirby game ever fucking made. If you can fucking believe it. I mean, we're missing some of the shitty ones, I won't lie, but... And some of them are incentives.
Who else? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tell you're not doing anything. Oh, I'm doing it all, bitch! But my feet don't touch the ground. Unironically, though, I have not played this game in like what 10 years, 15 years, maybe longer, honestly. No, it'd be about 15 years, maybe. And I, I still have it, like my GameCube version and all that. My my grandmother bought me this game. I remember this. My grandmother bought this for me. It was like a gift or something. Are we going to play Shadow the Hedgehog? <laughs> that is one of our incentives. Ugh. I've never played that game. I'm scared of it. Sanic! I have no idea what you're talking about, Terry. That's right, Sonic Heroes! Are you excited? We have a hell of a time coming up here. A hell of a fucking time! <laughs> bum, ba dum, bum, bum, ba dum, bum. So you might be sitting there wondering Catnip! You want to know if you're coming out, out of the Monkey Island closet? I mean, there's that, like, Sea of Thieves DLC. I think that's what he's talking about, but that's, like, has nothing to do with the original creator or anything. It's just kind of like they're using the license. You know what I mean? Yo, welcome to Hammer Bros Hardware Store. How are you today? Uh, here, let's, uh... Well, what do we... What do we... What do we have? We got, uh... Hmm. Damn, that... That's a defiant gummy bear right there. Can't we? Got a rat? Where? Okay. It looks like he has like a TV antenna. What else do we got here? So it looks like a gander. Hmm. Okay. Ah, classic. De devil playing billiards. Just as I expected. I expected nothing fucking less. What's going on, Markety? I, uh, we are just getting everything started for the third annual. And yes, I can't believe it's a third annual either. Like, what the fuck? I started this entire marathon because I wanted to show people how good ukulele was. By the way, you might have noticed I've actually got new sound things. And they do things. Look at the bottom left. It actually makes a little thingy. It's different every time. Some of them are bigger than others. 
And I also added that to new things. Like, for example... He spins in now. Look at him. <laughs> so, there, not everything has a picture, obviously, because that gets you crazy. But I did add more pictures and more things like that. Smithies, are they booing me? Uh, no, they're saying boo earns. Boo earns. <laughs> they're fucked, y'all. Y'all can't boo. Yeah, no, I have it 50 50. It's a 50 50. Either. Did we play You Could Too? That was the entire point of this marathon, Super Derpy Face, when I first did it. Like, the entire point was to play Ukulele too. You finding everything okay, sir, at the hardware store? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Smithies, are they booing me? Uh, no, they're saying boo earns. Boo earns. Well, yeah, that's why I'm, uh, I, so that's why I want to show the list of games. I just need a second here to like, I'm getting distracted. It still does the old boo as well. It's just 50-50. Smithies, are they You just keep getting really bad luck. No, they're saying boo earns. Boo earns. I had to fix one thing. Right, here we go. Now we should be good. There you go. You still, see, you still got the boot. And I raised the price because y'all spam that shit too much. <laughs> hey, G, would you make me a sandwich? Yeah. Good. I also added... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, I did add one more thing, didn't I? But I did. The uh, oh yeah, this one. Yeah, the more. <laughs> now you get to watch Mario smoking weed. Okay, look at a more exciting song. All right, so I'm going to go quickly through this because there's a lot of games. We have Dog Hunt Country SNES, 101%. Honestly, I just really like doing that. That was really fun. So we're going to do that again because we got to do DKC1 at least. You know what I mean? DKC2, we're going to do the hard mode where you put in the button combo. But we're going to do any percent. So we're not going to do like every single bonus level. But we uh, maybe I'll do the thing where I put the code in to get every coin so I can do every level. But we just won't do uh, like beating every single fucking bonus because that shit's so boring. Especially on hard mode, it's just like, ugh. But I'm more interested in just trying to beat the levels on hard mode. Which basically means there's no, uh... What do you call it? No DK barrels and no midways. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing, we gotta beat Wizpig. That was an incentive from last year. There, There is. It's part of, uh, I just move things around depending on... I tried to section it better. So DKC3 is in the randomizer section. And it's also in a few other parts. These are just, like, the games, you know what I mean? Like, non-randomized... It does say if it's a ROM hack or not, but, like... You know what I mean? Kind of like the, 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 the classic shit you're expecting. Some of these are shorter than you think. Uh, so we got... So, like, th this will take me, like, half a stream. This will probably take me a stream. I don't know how long this is gonna take. This is, like, a joke. This is, like, the bongo, which is like, we're fucking around for two hours, you know what I mean? That's just because I have those bongos. We gotta use them. Maybe I'll see if there's music mods or something. We've played pretty much every single song at this point. But I also, it's been, it'd be fun just to go back. The games are weird. I, I looked up some weird old Mario games that we like never played. And I don't, I've never seen anyone stream or ever heard of anyone ever playing. So Punchball Mario Brothers was on the PC-88, which was like an old Japanese computer. And it was basically like a, one of the first Mario ROM hacks. There, there's a lot of Mario 1 ROM hacks, if that makes sense. Kind of like in the 80s and stuff, where people would like steal games and make their own copies and shit. So Punchball Mario is like, you, you like attack the enemies. It's weird. Did you ever figure out how to get the second typing game to work? Bro, can you just let me finish the list? Versus Super Mario Brothers Arcade. Beat the game. This is the one where they take... Mario 1, they modify like half the levels. They end up using it as the basis for lost levels, but it's really fucking hard. We're also going to be playing Mario All-Stars. When we're playing All-Stars, we're going to be doing uh, the Super Mario Super Show at the same time. Not like we did with Mario and Luigi. Because I'm like, most people have seen these games, so we might as well just like combine it with Super Show. So like, we get through those episodes, but also we play through these games. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. 
We've done that idea a few times. A really random game from like the 80s, 90s, whatever. Super Mario Brothers and Friends, when I grow up for the DOS. Um, I didn't even, again, I tried to find some shit I didn't even know existed. Uh, so I'm not even gonna say anything about that one. Mario's Time Machine, we're gonna play the DOS version. Just because we can. I've never really played that version before. Uh, Mario is missing. We're gonna play the DOS version. Again, I've only ever really played the SNES or NES versions. When you grow up, you want to be a fireman? That makes sense. So... War just let me get through the list. Wario Land for Virtual Boy. Which we can put on a color mod and can destroy our eyeballs. Wario World for GameCube. I, we never got to play this during Wario Week. I said I wanted to actually do it. I've never played it before. I know it's supposed to be really good. It's only like three hours long as well. It's like really short. Uh, Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch. So we're going to play all three. We're going to beat all three games. We're not going to get 100% though. So we'll do Shindo 64. We'll do Sunshine. No, fuck those blue coins though. And we'll do Galaxy 1. Uh. You know, you can see Mario World. Get yes, exactly. I feel like most people don't really know Wario World. Yes, we are getting Galaxy 1. And Galaxy 2 as well. It's down here, if you look. Uh, there's just, I tried to do this like almost in like chronological, almost. Uh, we had Yoshi's Story on N64. That game is notoriously known for being short as fuck. A lot of these games are really short, you'll notice. That's why we have a lot of them. Uh, Mario Artist. This was the 64 DD Japanese only games. Where like WarioWare was invented in this thing. Sort of was the official sequel to Mario Paint. But, like there's a whole artist studio thing. And there's a third game. It's like an animation thing or something. I can't remember what it is. Yes, Yoshi's Story is the fruit one. We have to eat all the fruits. And you can, that's why I'm doing all endings. Because I used to rent that game as a kid. I, don't know, I, just, I, just, I actually thought it was a fun game. But I, I used to love how it was a good rental game because you literally beat it in like 10 minutes. Unless you like, you know, try to do all endings, get all the colored Yoshis, like, you know, kind of do all the extra things in it. Uh, I find, also fun version of the run is uh, the all melon run. Where you challenge yourself in Yoshi's Story only to get the melons, which are harder to get. And you have to, like, do specific things to, like, trigger them. What do you think of boob sizes? Are you five years old, my man? Uh, Super, Super Smash Brothers uh, N64. Uh, we're gonna unlock all the characters. I remember that being fucking balls hard. I don't know about you, but I, I, I just think it was either Ness or Captain Falcon. One of those assholes was a fucking asshole to unlock. But I'm very curious to try it now as an adult. So I haven't tried doing this in so long. I thought it'd be fun to do a Smash Brothers thing, because I know, you know, we got some Smash Brothers people in chat. And I, I mean, I've played every single one. I'm also a fan. Uh, the, I talked about this before, doing the e-reader levels uh, from Mario Advance 4, or Mario Brothers 3 on the GBA. Uh, they added a bunch of, like, there's like 50 new levels they added to Mario 3. Some of them are remakes, some of them are, like, you know, remakes of other Mario. Some of them are, like, its own thing. Uh, we have NBA Street V3 Baller Percent. The, Rob's probably the only person who even knows what this game is, and he's still here. Why NBA? You'll have to find out. Specifically the GameCube version. And there's a reason for that. Yeah. It's ran- it's- it, it's random until it's not. You'll- you'll see why. It's- it's part of the weird part of history. Uh, we got- this is part of one of our incentives we had to do, but... DDR Mario Mix, beat the game. That, I, I have the dance mat and all that, I just gotta do it. Partners in time, I'm just waiting a little bit before we start this. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say so most people probably know why if they're like a, a hardcore Mario fan. Or if they just know GameCube games. There, there is another one as well, an SSX game. But I, I was choosing between the two. I was like, well, we'll do this one, because this one seems funnier. Uh, yeah, all right, uh... my pants. Uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Uh, like I said, we're, we're not gonna spoil it just yet. You know, you have to, it's one of those wait and see. Oops, I hit the wrong one. Uh, DDR Mario. Okay, we're gonna do every single new Super Mario Brothers. I actually own them all. I always forget I own them all. That's how forgettable these games are. I'm like, oh yeah, I own all of these. <laughs> uh, so the DS, DS one's probably the best one, honestly. That one's so good. Has like a lot of unique bosses and stuff. Like it's not just boom boom 50 times. Uh, the Wii one, which I also forgot I bought for like 10 bucks one day, like a couple years ago. Like not even that long ago. I saw it in like some discount store and I was like, it was a mint condition Wii one, like new soup. And I was like, okay. Uh, new Super, 
uh, Mario Brothers 2, the 3DS one, which I feel like is underrated. People just hate on this one. Yeah, I feel like there's overhated. I know uh, a lot of, there's a lot of contention about the Wii U one, but I think it's pretty solid. A bit boring, but not like bad. Super Luigi U, I think is probably the better version of it. But yeah, you are getting like a Luigi thing. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is also all green stars, which is that thing I said we were going to do like two, like a year or two ago. Where I was like, hey, remember we're going to come back and do all the green stars in Mario Galaxy 2? All 150 of them or whatever. And then I just never did it. So we're going to do it, actually. And also, it's been so it's been long enough where I want to play Galaxy 2 again. I always want to play it every couple years. Uh, Mario 3D Land, a game that I feel like no one ever talks about. Uh, it's not the Wii U one. This is the 3DS one. Uh, we're going to do all levels. For those that, if you don't know the game, I won't spoil it. But there's a reason why we're doing all levels. You know what I mean? It's it. I'm doing it on Kuja. I'm going through the, the games list right now. Make so sure DK, Diddy Kong Racing, Honga. Some interesting yeah, yeah. Mario Brothers, like 80s hacks, All Stars, some DOS games no one's ever heard of, Wario Land and World. Not the one we did, but like the Virtual Boy one. Some interesting games you probably wouldn't expect. But again, they're all still themed around DK, Mario, all that kind of stuff. How do you change? Uh, yeah, Citra. And, that, and I make my own backups with uh, my 3DS, which is kind of sick, honestly. I love that feature. Like, I even can take my save. I put my save files and everything, too. That's how we did hero mode in uh, Link Between Worlds. So I already had my file. I went to your demo your schedule for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say we're, we're, it's just a lot of stuff I have to unpack here. That's kind of nice. You can kind of like make a switch. You can kind of do a switch thing with the 3DS nowadays. Like play it on your PC and then switch it to your console. You can you can do that now. Which is kind of nice. I mean, you always could. You know what I mean? But like, there's nothing stopping you now. I mean, I guess unless you updated your firmware. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, speaking of terrible games, Yoshi's New Island. I always talk about why this game's terrible and how I hate this game and it's the worst game ever. Well, I'm gonna sh I gotta show you why. I'm gonna show you why. Uh, Donkey Kong DLC for Rabbids. I was supposed to do this again. This is just an incentive we were supposed to have done. Uh, another one, Iron Bros Challenge. I already have Mario Maker 2 installed, so we're gonna do this sooner than later. Uh, I, we're gonna do, uh, remember the multiplayer Switch incentive thing? I decided to do Mario 3D World, and we're gonna try and beat the entire game. And the, and the thing is, chat can come in and out when they want. So if we have one person, three people, it doesn't matter. But essentially, I'll just be going through the game, and whoever's around can join in or join out. You know what I mean? And, uh, bro, I, 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 the level was worse than I remembered. Uh, Bowser's Fury, which was part of 3D World, but that's like its own new Mario game. We're now, I promised a 100% speedrun. So we're going to, you know, do a week of those. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, that's actually going to be today's game. We're going to be starting with Banjo. Uh, Banjo-Tooie, we're going to be trying doing, uh, we tried it last year, but I'm going to get more prep time this time. But trying the co-op banjo tui where we all work together. Um, so all you need is Mod Loader 64, which is a PC program, and you can join in. Uh, ukulele, bringing it back, one and two. I didn't include it in the intro just because it's like I feel like it's a given. But yeah, we're gonna we're only gonna beat the first game because I don't want to get 100 percent again. Like eh, I don't care. I've never tried doing any percent in Yuka one, so I'm curious what that's like. And the second game is fucking legendary, and everyone should be playing this game, and it's the best platformer that no one ever played. Put a cooldown on that shit. Which one? The banjo? Wait, where's the where's the picture? Oh wait, one sec. Uh -huh. Oh, I see why. Post against spam. There it is. It's supposed to be like talking to banjo and shit. We talked about this one. <laughs> Alright, um We're gonna do WarioWare Mega Party Games, which was the GameCube WarioWare. And I'm gonna invite see look now you're in you're, Jinjo! You're... <laughs> Actual Jinjo. Nice, let's go. We're going to do the WarioWare GameCube one, where we're Get all going to work together. There. What is Eggman getting involved? 
Um, so I'll, I'll invite Chad in. We'll use Parasac for this. So if anyone wants to join. Basically, it's just, we're gonna have a fun day. Maybe I'll invite some other, maybe we'll do a drinking thing out of it. I don't know. Uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing. This is the last Banjo-Kazooie slash Sonic slash... Okay. Oh god, I forgot I made Toad a thing. Uh... <laughs> you, uh... For some reason, Banjo-Kazooie is exclusive to the Xbox 360 version of Sonic and All-Stars Racing, so we'll play that. The Kirby games! I'll go through this quickly. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land 1. We're gonna do the extra mode. It's like hard mode. I haven't done that yet on stream. We're gonna do Kirby's Adventure, just 100% all levels. I think game's amazing. Pinball Land! Uh, it's a weird spin-off thing, but pretty cool. Dream Land, it's also really short, it's like 10 minutes. Dream Land 2, uh, we're just gonna beat the game. I think there's extra shit, but I don't wanna do it. Uh, Block Ball, which actually has a story mode, crazy enough. It's like a, another kind of spin-off thing. Kirby's Toy Box. I, I don't even know if Will knows about this game. But, uh, was a Satellaview game. There was like eight different mini games, and basically they were lost to time. But they're getting refound, so we'll, we'll see how many we can find. Uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra. I, I, I you do know. So, you, know you, probably Googled, you probably Googled it before. Not specifically, but you saw the list. Uh, we're gonna do Superstar Ultra. I don't think I ever did all the shit in Ultra. And I was like, if we're gonna do Superstar, we might as well do Ultra. We're not gonna do both, right? So we're, we're not 100% Ultra. And I don't know if, if it's gonna get some bullshit in there. But hey, that's part of the, the, the thing that we do. I feel like the full of the true arena is some bullshit or something, isn't it? Uh, Kirby Streamland 3. Uh, we're gonna 100% that. So all those like crazy mini games you gotta do and stuff. Kirby 64, we're gonna 100% that. You know, Fight 02, do the real thing. Kirby Tilt and Tumble. That's on the Switch now. So let's do it. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, we're gonna do the Meta Nightmare mode, or the Meta Knight mode. Kirby's Canvas Curse, which is the DS one. Uh, I actually love this game, and yeah, we're just beating that one. Triple Deluxe, the 3DS one, beating that. Rainbow Curse, which is like the shitty sequel to Canvas Curse, and I hate this game. Uh, Planet Robobot, which I've actually never played. It's supposed to be really good. And we're 100%ing uh, Forgotten Land, because we did that already, and this game was amazing, and I just want to do it again. The Bomberman games, pretty small. Bomberman Quest for the Game Boy Color. I've talked about this game before. It's kind of like a Zelda Bomberman, where you have to collect all these monsters. That's where the collect-a-thon part comes in. No Squeak Squad? Bro, I had to, I didn't include like Squeak Squad, Massive Attack. There's, there's some of them where I was like, ugh. There's so many. And like all the spinoffs and shit. Uh, Bomberman 64, and they're, they're, don't forget, the list is, we're not done yet. Bomberman 64, uh, Amazing Game Hero, 64, the, basically all the 64 Bombermans we're playing. Uh, Sonic Origins Plus, that comes out on Friday, like tomorrow, so I figured throw it in. But, yeah, the car alarm is from Hero, best song ever. Uh, we're also going to be doing Sonic Heroes 100%, so all four characters, like all the endings, Metal Sonic, all that shit. Sonic Generations, we're gonna beat the game. Uh, Sonic Riders, which is like really bizarre. Is it ever Rally Eye? I'm just going through like the list of games right now. For Summer of DK and Banjo, part three, featuring Kirby, so much Kirby. Uh, Sonic, Bomberman. Uh, here's a bunch of Banjo Kazooie hacks. I'm not even joking, there's 10 different Banjo-Kazooie hacks we haven't played. Uh, there's a DKC hack that, uh, the creator wanted me to do. Um, and uh, by the way, these 10 hacks are done by the same person who did, uh, Jiggies of Time. But they're a lot smaller in scale. Like the Smash Bros. Temple is like 10 Jiggies, you know what I mean? Stay at home's a bit longer, but I don't think it's complete yet. And then, you know what I mean, most of them are like 10 Jiggies or whatever. Yeah, and then and some of that person you can make like really, really cool shit. Like they they usually push the envelope a bit. I think you'll I think you'll enjoy these, Kuja. Uh, I'm throwing in Mario World ROM hacks because I you know I we gotta play them. They're the best. Mega Man hacks. To go to the place. Oh shit, we murdered George. Yeah, I added George now. You watch him die when you do it. That was the new. I added some new stuff. The best emote eyes or George. Because the answer is yes. Um, 
So I was like, I always talk about it's related to that. And I, I, I realized I already had the overlay stuff set up. I just didn't use it for some reason. Uh, Mega Man hacks. Yeah, Phantasmagoria. We were talking about trying to finish that. So we're throwing that in there. We, we, we have a little point and click corner. Every, every year we kind of have this little like point and click moment. So this year we're doing Return to Monkey Island and Phantasmagoria. Although I would like to do that Monkey Island DLC. I actually forgot to include that on this. Um, but we're, we'll, we'll probably do that as well. Probably around the same time as this. We'll throw it in. Uh, Lucky Man 2. Finish the game? I don't know if I can. We'll see. Uh, Rare Replay, which is an Xbox One game that has every single Rareware game ever made, plus documentaries and it's really cool. Um, so we're actually going to be referencing this thing a lot. It has a lot of interesting info. But not just that. Uh, there's also... Uh, every, like all the retro games from like the Amiga and like Commodore and stuff like that. So a lot of them are straight trash. There, there, there's a few good ones like Sh Shalom. Shalom. That one's fucking actually really good. Uh, we're going to be having an indie platformers day. So uh, one called Kaze. I don't know if anyone's heard of that one. Actually, it's a pretty good Donkey Kong ripoff. Like it's trying to be Donkey Kong. There's like something weird with the controls I'm not a fan of. But otherwise, it's like really good. They do with the little tips here and here from uh, Fake Mac. Yeah, I, I, using save states, having like some tips every now and again, knowing like there's ways to farm things and stuff, kinda. It just might not be fun. Uh, we're gonna do Frogun. I always talk about this game. It only takes a couple hours. And then Kiwi. Remember uh, the dev actually comes by the stream and like talks to me on Twitter and stuff. Uh, the Super Kiwi 64 dev, or also Tori and all those games. Um, they actually added a bunch of free content to Super Kiwi. And that game is literally a, a banjo collectathon kind of thing. So we'll go back. And also, I always said I was going to do this. Super Druigi World. So, you know, Gaming with Drew, who comes by the chat, raids us. You know, I think we raided him, like, just the other day. Uh, he actually made his own fan game. So not a ROM hack, but a fan game, like, on PC. So we're going to play his Mario fan game. So I, I like Mario fan games. I'm not against them. I just always drifted more towards ROM hacks just because of like, I just love, I'm just more impressed. Hunger Xbox, why don't we literally did that Super Derby phase. We did, we did do it. Last year, like we, and it wasn't last year. I think we did it in between. No, 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 we did do it last year. We did do it last year. Yeah, yeah we did it last year. Uh, crowd control day. So I'm going to have one of these a month. Well, I guess starting in July, like July, August, and probably September. And so what happens is, obviously, you control the game with your money, all that shit, whatever. Uh, but what happens is, if you reach a certain amount of uh, bits, so 500 bits, it will trigger the Wheel of Misfortune. And it could be any point, any time before crowd control. If you get the 500 bits, it will trigger, uh, it will combine the streams. So not only am I doing crowd control, but then every time I die, I have to spin the wheel and combine it with something. So maybe one hand, maybe I have to, like, eat something disgusting. Maybe I have to, like, be blindfolded. So, like, we're going to, like double shit up so it might just be total chaos we'll see a few spots where safe setting is a bad idea if you don't have enough e tanks or what yeah that's what i'm scared about but there isn't really soft lock it's more just like it'll suck but lucky man 4 has him because it's a gravity weapon oh i see like you literally can't kill yourself or anything orange wheels and ketchup man but you don't even eat it though new hack friday is not really going anywhere i because like, there's some there's some hacks that like like some there's some new hacks that are like they're like Mario inspired, but they're Adventure Island, but like, so I'm just throwing it in here. Uh, I need, our music streams this year, I want to try something different. Uh, and I mean, we still have a few other things we have to do. But Summer of DJ Stream. So I have a DJ turntable thing. And I'm like, let's try DJing a bunch of remixes and stuff together and, you know, do like a party night. So fuck it, let's try it. Uh, and then we're actually, uh, something new I wanted to try. Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, but I want to try doing a ROM hack and game dev podcast. So essentially it would be like, uh, you know, maybe an hour or two and I'd actually get different people on. So, uh, maybe different developers from our chat, different people from like around, you know, from different discords and stuff that I know. And like, for the, like, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be like talking to Will about Super Luigi RPG or like talking to Kuja about his hack or like. It can also be like, run, it can be like talking to Rob about like running ROM hacks and like what's it like speed running them. Like, like I kind of want to like, there, I, there's not really stuff about this. But I thought it might be fun to sort of like do that. 
And if it ends up being like, eh, then, eh. Especially the Chico album is getting done. That's just happening pretty much off stream, just because I'm like, I'm having like a creative moment, unfortunately. I, I, it's good at the bad, and I'm just like, ah. Uh. This music is perfectly encapsulating how I feel. You tried the Mario Adventure Island thing? It's been like less than two minutes, bro. Adventure Island's brutal. All right, so every Sunday, I should put randomizer Sunday. Every Sunday, we're gonna be doing randomizers. Uh, so, in the middle of the randomizer, like at the 2.30 time, we'll still do free media share. But may what I might do is have the free media share going while I do the rando. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Um, so for example, one week we'll do the multi-world, you know, I'll have everyone come back. Well, I, we were supposed to do one this month, but I forgot to organize it. So we'll, we'll do it next month. But, uh, but you know, the thing we'll have like, it's like V's around or Will, whoever. Eberk, if he's able to join this time. Memblock. You know, like everyone who's able to come by. Super Derby Face, if he wants to fucking join. Anyone can join. Um, but yeah. So, that, you already know that. DK64. Yep. Paper Mario. Banjo Kazooie. Uh, Mega Man 1 has a rando now. 2, 4, 6, 7. You already know those ones. X1 and X3 are gonna. Basically, we're having like an NES or like classic Mega Man day. Well, there's the stuff as well. And then like an X day. You know what I mean? For randos. And if Kumba has X4 rando done, I don't think he would. That's <laughs> like a month from now. Like, hey, you ready? Uh, Super Adventure Island 2, because I love this game and no one ever knows about it. But it's like the best Zelda like. But it's a, it's a big collectathon, the rando. Collecting all the items and those rocks and the stones, and you have to collect other stones for other rocks. So it, it fits. And it's a platformer. Uh, but it, this is good Zelda too. Donkey Kong Country one rando because it's actually hilarious. Are we doing any shufflers? I actually don't have any shufflers, but we could shuffle some stuff. I'm not against shuffling some of this. You know what I mean? Like one or two things. Uh, Mario World has like a really interesting randomizer. That might just be for another month. I might just do it myself. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga has a rando. And that rando is nutty. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it actually has gotten really cool. So, let's do it. And we just beat the game. So I'm already, like, used to the game. You know what I mean? Uh, Sonic Adventure DX, because that rando was nuts. <laughs> and of course, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle rando. Because I said we we're going to do that. And I have a mystery randomizer, which I'm not going to reveal just yet. And then I have a backup one if something goes to shit. You know, like the MIDI, really PC, like the really shitty PC version of Sonic and Knuckles? That has a rando for some reason. With like the boop, 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 by the way. The whole thing is a banger. This is the version I grew up with for Sonic 3 as a kid. I actually thought the Genesis music was the fake music. Oh, sh shit. Which song do you want? Also, they dance now. Oh, that bass! If you didn't know, the PC version uses the beta music. So, Michael Jackson came in near the end of Sonic 3. 
So Carnival Night, Ice Cap, and Launch Base are all actually different songs. Check this out. I was saying how we had a randomizer left. Uh, like a, a sort of a backup randomizer. And I was saying how it features this incredible music I'm playing right now. Uh, so don't worry, Kuja, you're gonna see it tomorrow when we do Sonic Origins. You're gonna see, you're gonna hear the new music because they didn't want to pay the Michael Jackson estate for the remix, for like, not the remixes, but like the, the songs. So they re reused this PC beta music stuff and then remade it for Genesis again. But it was already made for Genesis and actually sounded pretty good. If you look at one of the prototypes. So why they like made it worse, no one knows. But, uh, and then we're, we're gonna be hacking three different games. Um, Donkey Kong Country. That's just good old DKC. We're gonna make a hack of it. Editor's pretty sick. Mario Party 3. This will be probably be every other week or so. Uh, we're going to be making a board. We've already made one. I think we have four more to make. Um, so this is like making... This was actually really, really fun. We took a picture and then we added the spaces and like... Uh, I know Rob's going to love this stream. Uh, and then we play it after. We can play it on stream and like we did last time. Uh, Mega Man 8. We're going to be using Kuma's level editor. And I, I, I was, I wanted originally to make a jump, jump, slide, slide hack, but it's not really possible right now. You know what I mean? Not without like aggressive hacking. So I figured making a mega ball hack might be a sort of like a, a mini mega ball hack. Um, I'm, I'll probably still use every stage. So it's not that many stages in Mega Man 8. It's only 12 stages, or I guess if you have the intro and outro, or like intro in the middle. But uh. It's like really short. Oh shit. Well, the thing is that we're finishing those ones during this marathon. So the ones that we still have to do, these ones. If you look, we don't have that many left. We're actually just typing two. That takes an hour. This one we're doing like this week. Going to an arcade I'm doing like pretty soon. Punch out. This one I just, I still actually need the balance board. This one I'm slacking on. Crash Bash just will be a one off thing, real quick. This one I still need to just decide the date. Um, I'm trying to decide to do one day or two days. I might do two days. I don't know. Uh, we're going to finish the Mario Super Show. That one's going to take a minute, but I have, I'm going to use All Stars. We're going to play at the same time. Uh, being Super Mario World, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna do Mario World because it's shorter. With the bongos. Uh, create the Cousin Cat theme song, I have an idea what to do this now. Chat choice stream, you kind of already know what those are. 
Uh, watch the Mario 3 show. This one, we'll have to figure out. It's not that long, so it won't take too long. The multiplayer thing, I think, I already kind of covered this. Actually, this is kind of repetitive now. Captain Mario 3D World already does this. Uh, kind of YouTube documentary on a subject. This is a, I do on my own time, basically. So if you notice, a lot of them are just like, one-off things now, which I can do within the next, like, couple weeks. With the exception of, like, Mario Rabbids and stuff. But I always kind of intended those to be part of this year's anyway. And most of these games, it looks like there's a lot of games here, but most of them are really short. Like this, four hours, six hours, this is probably like 10 hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, well, like 10 hours. Uh, like, you know what I mean? Like Lost Level is probably gonna take like four hours. Uh, this is like an hour. This is like an hour, hour, or probably about like two hours. Uh, probably about like two hours, three hours. This, this is about four hours. This will take about 15 to 20 hours. This is like two hours, hour, five hours, maybe? Like two hours, you know what I mean? Like a lot of these are like, not long. <laughs> I love that. All right, and if you're curious, there is incentives for this year. I didn't get a chance to really like break it down just yet. But uh, also the schedule. Today, Banjo. Tomorrow, New Hack Friday, Sonic Origins. Uh, Sunday, we're gonna be doing Paper Mario. So every kind of incentive thing go is going towards that. I kind of just wanted to do Paper Mario Rando first. So I was just in the mood for it. So any kind of like, I'll, I'll explain how the Rando thing works. Uh, Monday is Mario Teaches Typing 2, so there's your answer. Uh, and then we're gonna try and finish Phantasmagoria or Lucky Man 2, whichever one. Probably Phantasmagoria. Uh, cause that one is like, just going through the motions. Uh, Tap Tuesday, plus playing Bongos, plus Mario All-Star, Super Show stuff. The SNES stuff, Big and the Hack, 3D, you know what I mean? Like, we're, 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 we're cooking. Oh god. So we jump over here. We have so randomizers. Every dollar spent will like a hundred bits, dollar, and the sub is worth three dollars. So we actually get a bonus for subbing, uh, like a fifty cent bonus or whatever. Uh, so, what you, it's like a skill tree, or like, not skill tree, like skill points. So, whatever you give, if you sub, bits, donate, you get to choose how you influence the randomizer. So, let's say you gave five dollars, that would be like five points. So, you could be like, I want to add five more HP to like the bosses. Or like, the guy, they'll obviously be within limits. Like, maybe like... If you're trying to like add more like, you know what I mean, goals. Cause some randos will be fine. Like like Donkey Kong 64, like a dollar per golden banana. You know what I mean? Like you could you could literally increase up to two hundred dollars. You know what I mean? But uh, this is kind of just the last parts of this, so people just know. Uh, so five hundred bits, like I said, unlocks the wheel of misfortune. That's just at any point. Uh, it doesn't have to be at one person. It's just five hundred bits. You know what I mean? That unlocks the Wheel of Misfortune, and so that will get, uh, when we do crowd control, we'll tack on Wheel of Misfortune to that, which will make it insane. Um, these, bo these bottom ones are just kind of like, but, uh, if people donate money, I always wanted to get a retro tink, like the up upscaler, you know, like the, so I actually don't have to use that shitty ass upscaler thing I use, but it's straight up costs like 250 bucks. I'm not even, I'm not even memeing. So it's like 150 US plus like $20 US shipping plus tax plus import fees. And I'm like, f <sighs> so uh, how much are Tetris attack levels? You want to throw that shit in again? Uh, and then basically if I get past that, like that next bracket of money would cover the FX Pack Pro, which is like that really fancy Super Nintendo card. Again, that, that, that I usually don't get money donations. That's just kind of a, Hey, if you're interested, like, that's shit I need. 
Like, I basically just want to put that towards that. Because, like, I, I don't have those things. And they would be very helpful for stream. You know what I mean? Um, all right. So, if you're curious, I'll very quickly do this. Because there's a lot of this. Uh, but pretty much every five, like, last time. I tried to make them a bit different this year. So, it's not just video games. Uh, like, strictly. But, then obviously, there's still a lot of video games. So, if you're missing some games, this might be where they are. So, five subs. Watching Digging in the Carts. It's a documentary on video game music. Very well done. Uh, learn Dino City, which is uh, that Super Nintendo game that Ebert really likes. Uh, I'll learn the speed run for 10 subs. Uh, 15, we'll do a cooking stream. Uh, 20, we'll play that only up game on stream. I can't guarantee I'll beat it, though, because I might have a fucking breakdown. But I'll play that meme game. Uh, Hotel Mario, if you want that, it's 25 subs. Y'all were wondering where it was. I'll rank every Mario power-up ever for uh, 30 subs. Uh... We'll do the Mario Party minigame Island. You know that with control stick and all that shit. 35 subs. Uh, Mario Deluxe on hey, Game Boy Color. We'll 100% that. We'll do all that like bonus stuff. Face the Boo and all that shit. 40 subs. Um, I'll rank every Mega Man weapon ever. We'll make a tier list for 45 subs. Uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We'll do that whole game. 50 subs. That one I'm kind of hoping, hoping we get. I really want to play that game. Uh, Super Mario Ball, which I don't think anyone knows that game exists. 55 subs. Uh, I'll rank every Kirby ability, or at least the ones I know, for 60. Uh, Yoshi's Universal Gravitation, which I don't think anyone even knows this game exists. Uh, God Awful Game, 65 subs. Mario 64 DS, 100% for 70 subs. Uh, more, uh, Super Princess Peach, never played that. 75 subs, I will. Mario Hoops 3 on 3, the DS game. Uh, that's 80. Mario Kart 7 will win each cup on 150cc. Uh, Bowser's Minions, that thing for Mario and Luigi, will do for 90 subs. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. I'll do that multiplayer with chat, whoever wants to join in. We'll do that multiplayer. Uh, I will create a Summer of DK and Banjo movie if we get to 100 subs. Kirby's Air Ride for 105 subs. Shadow the Hedgehog, 110 subs. Mega Man Legends, 115 subs. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, I'll just do a speed run of it. You already know the one. I actually meant to make that one cheaper. Maybe I'll switch it out for something. Uh, Chow Garden, we'll like do everything in the Chow Garden for 130 subs. That one might take forever. Chrono Trigger, 100%. We'll do every ending. Uh, Discord Watch Party at 140. Uh, I'll return to DKC3 any percent speedrunning at 145. Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe on the Switch. I'll 100% that. At, uh, what was that, 150? Yep. Uh, Super Metroid, 165. Rank Every Mario Party Game at 160. Or 155, sorry. And then there's there's a bunch more. But y'all were memeing about Candycom at 300. So it's there. And I'll make up more shit if I need to. You know what I mean? But this is all for the entire marathon, for those wondering. It's not just this month or, like, just this week or anything. That would be for the next three months until September. So, there is time. You don't have to do it today, like, just now. You can definitely wait a second. And, yeah. But, yeah, 300 for that hot tub thing. That was always the promise. So, it's, it's there. I'm not expecting that. that. That's just there for the meme. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, it's, it's literally just there because y'all said it. I, like I said, it's not my expectation. <laughs> but if I didn't put it, y'all would be like, where's the hot tub? Where's the hot tub, catnip? Well, there it is. There it is. All right. Give your review, man. It's already five o'clock. Fuck. All right. Uh... Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Man, this music is cursed. So any questions, any concerns? I'll have everything posted. Actually, let me do it right now. Uh, wait, did I close everything? Uh -oh. Yep, like I said, yeah, this would be the perfect time. I gotta do one thing. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't often do this kind of stuff, so this is very much... I try to make it special, you know? 
Wah, 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 wah. Making sure this is all good. Luna's so cute. I thought you were banned from that stream. Da <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. That's how much that worked. Uh, it was an improvement over Tuesday for sure, but it was just a plain eh. First of all, it was just about SpongeBob Patrick watching a TV show about talking snail and urchin guy. No one said it seemed like they're trying to go for like a Beavis and Butthead kind of thing. You remember that as a bit emo, which Twitch does not take away from you if you get banned from a channel. It just seemed weird that you were like acting like I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Da, da, da. Uh, uh. Was on um, was on that almost not on SpongeBob or anyone else. Period. Yeah, I can see why that would be annoying. Sometimes those like offbeat episodes yeah. can work, but. I'm overthinking it. Sure, buddy. Overthink that time out, then. <laughs> How about the one band? <laughs> what, what the fuck? Someone ended up on divorce court. Na, 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 na. Uh, Alright, sorry, enough waiting, enough 